do people manage the auto rotation of uh, IAM user access keys within Terraform uh, if we have time today? So uh, I'd like to just start that the the obvious answer, and I don't mean to be snooty, is you don't. You use STS, which is Amazon's API for automatically rotating credentials all the time. But I, I think what you're really asking is about the key pairs that you might be generating that are associated with an IAM user and how do you rotate those programmatically. Um, and uh, I guess uh, there's two uh, follow-up questions to that. First, uh, Patrick, are you on the line? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So yeah, then the, fo the follow-up question uh, to that I have is how are you using these uh, key pairs? Are these for humans or are these uh, for the, uh, these services? Are for yeah, so I'm partially limited to what I can do because of the uh, parti the partition I'm on in GovCloud. So gotcha. I'm limited to some of the things um, yeah. currently. Um, and they're, they're all uh, service users because we do use uh, SAML with Okta for uh, people, for okay. humans. So okay. it's strictly like basically we use Git CI, so they're like pipeline service users. Yeah. Some of them may be like S3 bucket service users that only have permission to, to a certain bucket. And um, one of the things was I was looking at thinking about using like a Lambda, but once I rotate that cred, uh, Terraform, uh, and I delete the cred, then Terraform wants to recreate it because there's no lifecycle hook for like, you know, create once or ignore like lost resource or whatever. So, um, you know, and, and basically my Terraform uh, module creates the service user. And then when it's done, it just dumps the creds into vault. And every single thing that consumes that cred pulls it from the same vault path so that it can be easily uh, rotated. Uh, vault. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Okay. Yep. So. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to, the, there's uh, two things I can add to this, but it's not directly addressing your uh, request. One is if you were humans who had this problem, just because other people might have this problem um, and you're using I am users with key pairs, then the, the, I would say the best still today, the best practice of doing that is with the CLI tool called AWS vault which will encrypt those key pairs in a uh, secret uh, in, in your keychain. And this command provides a tool, a uh, sub command to rotate those keys. This is not for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we use Okta in their short lived like six hours or eight hour yeah. credentials. Yeah, 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 I yeah, have, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so, but what you're talking about is what we call a system user here or like a service user. These are actual IAM users used programmatically by other systems. Uh, these users are not using AWS Vault. They are other, it's like Circle CI or something like that. So how do you rotate those programmatically? Yeah, so why not, why not use the Vault AWS Secrets Engine? It actually is designed specifically to do yeah. that. Like it, we, that, that's actually what it will do. It will rotate your keys for you automatically. Yeah, we are not in a position to do that, I guess, is a short answer of that. Uh, but that's a great idea. I mean, that, that would be the, I, I would say that's the right answer, uh, especially since you're a vault shop. However, if there are things like you, you don't have vault access or whatever to make those institutional changes, then I can understand that. That's why you don't do it. And that's that's exactly it. That's the only reason why we don't do that is we don't have permissions to alter the vault engines and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, it sucks. And then you end up uh, creating a less uh, optimal uh, Rube Goldberg Lambda. Uh, yep, how many? Ex exactly. That's well. How many you, service? Uh, so that's the thing is is, is not many. You know, maybe like, I don't know, 12 service accounts or something like that. So what I would do is uh, you can still keep creating the resource itself with I am the user, but the access resource you don't want to create with Terraform at all. Uh, gotcha. Because then you have the, these issues tracking it. 
And then you'll have the Lambda that you deploy, which is creating the uh, access key and rotating it probably and doing the rest of that stuff. So you're getting diminishing returns by, by forcing it into Terraform. Yep. So All right. I've got this in my backlog right now, actually, to do you know something very similar. And what we decided we're going to do is um, rather than trying to solve the rotating automatically, we're just going to we're just going to do automatic notifications of old keys, you know, and and we're going to use Cloud Custodian to just automatically disable any key that's older than X days with email notifications. So, um, you know, it's not a fully automatic solution, but it's at least, hey, if you don't do anything about it, your key's going to get disabled seven days from now. Go fix it. And since there's only 12, that's not a huge burden. Yeah, and, and so I'm kind of leaning towards doing that at some point. Like my S3 service users are actually used for apps and deployment. So like I can't just rotate those without the app being redeployed. So that will have to be some sort of notification. Hey, like you have a week to update your app, whatever, you know, and then, yeah. But the service users, because they're all used in pipelines and pulled from one location, I mean, I could conceivably rotate those daily. Um, but the only other idea I had to keep it in Terraform was to potentially add like maybe a S3 bucket object that was created by the Lambda and have uh, Terraform, yeah, I get this Goldberg thing end up happening, yeah. and have and have Terraform check for the existence of that object or whatever, and uh, uh, conditionally create the access key on whether the object existed or not. But yeah, do you like, do you have a fully GitOps driven workflow already in place? Yes, you do. What if you just uh, are you what are you using for CI? Uh, GitLab. GitLab. Okay. I'm less familiar with GitLab. The construct must exist there. We did have actions. You can have a scheduled job. What if you just had a scheduled job? That's that, exactly what I was thinking. A scheduled that, job that like paints this resource and just reruns the Terraform apply. Yep. And so that would work uh, beautifully. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Exactly. Uh, every like 30 day, 90 days, whatever, taint the resource, reapply. Um, and that would work fine for those service users and uh, the S3 bucket users. I couldn't do that, but that's a whole separate, yeah, separate thing. That's yeah, gonna have to be somewhat manual anyway. Just cool. a quick question: is this is this a situation where having two keys and rotating between them would be an easier Rube Rube Goldberg to create? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if it'd be easier, but that's it. Actually, that's how the S3 bucket users are gonna have to go. Because I'm going to have to generate a new key while keeping the other key active. Then after they redeploy their app, mm. then I can revoke the old key. Because these are like productionized. I can't just revoke the key without. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't seem like rotation if you kill one first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Cool. Well, that, uh, th that clarifies the route I was going. And... Um, yeah, hopefully at some point we can get our vault better situated. Yeah. I was just going to add one thing to what Patrick was saying there too. Like consider uh, if it's for user access to upload to S3 buckets um, that you're you're looking at there, um, consider looking at pre-signed S3 URLs, which you can expire at various intervals. Um, as well, and you can just issue new ones that are signed again that have the rights to do what you need to do. Yeah, I mean it's applications that are program that are programmatically like they're accessing like PDFs and uploading PDFs and stuff like that. And gotcha. ideally, I, I would use roles, but because of the way the apps are deployed, I, I can't use a role. Got it. Yeah, got it. That makes sense. 